Long ago, word spread throughout the land of a wonderful teacher in Jerusalem. It was Jesus, the Son of God. He helped people who were sick. and encourage those who were lonely. He answered their questions and told them about God. Jesus traveled from place to place, and wherever he went, people wanted to hear what he had to say. <laughs> you know, the angels of children are always very close to God in heaven. my baby pray for my child no go away one of Jesus's disciples was upset can't you see Jesus is too busy to waste his time on children wait my father's kingdom is made up of people who trust and love like children do to God every child is a special treasure as my disciple you should know I could never turn children away I'm sorry, Jesus. Here. Please, come back. I was wrong. Jesus will bless your children. Jesus was never too busy for anyone, young or old, sick or well. <laughs> Teacher! If you really know all the answers, tell me. How can I get into heaven? You've studied God's law. What do you think? Well, it says to love God with all my heart and mind and strength. And I should love my neighbors and other people as much as I love myself. That's right. But wait, I understand everything but that last part. Who are my neighbors? And how do I love others? So, what's your answer, Jesus? There's the story of a young man. 
he left Jerusalem on a trip to Jericho. The young man checked his money carefully, as his father had always told him to. And then began his journey. Morning. Good morning. Along the way, the man greeted other travelers, including a priest from the temple. Have a safe journey. And you also. As his journey continued, he came upon another traveler. A Levite. Levites help the priests in the temple. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Good journey to you. And to you. As time passed, the traveler saw fewer and fewer people on the road. <laughs> so I'm not alone. What a beautiful bird. I remember seeing such a bird once. Oh, Papa! Can we look at the birds? <laughs> we always do, son. Ah! Ah! Oh, Papa, don't you just love the birds? Love the birds! Ah! Love the birds! Come on, your mother sent us to buy almonds for our dinner. down the street from us, don't they? Yes, they're our neighbors. They're good people. Oh, Papa, look! <laughs> Who's that man? Him? He's not from Jerusalem. He's from Samaria. That's a Samaritan? Stay here, son. The Samaritans are not like our neighbors. They are our enemies and can't be trusted. The boy was taught to fear anyone from a different place. Always remember, beware of the Samaritans. Beware of the Samaritans. The traveler was completely alone on the road when a stranger approached. He was frightened because his father had always warned him to be afraid of people from other places. But the foreigner did not bother him. Greetings, little fellow. Here's a treat for you. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't see you. Good day, stranger. How are you? Hello. Are you from Jerusalem? That's a relief. It's good to see neighbors so far from home. Ow! You have a firm grip, friend. You haven't felt anything yet. <gasps> Grab him! W w what are you doing? Please stop! Doing 
business. We're neighbors. So give us all your money, neighbor. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The thieves took the traveler's money and jewelry, and they almost took his life. No one could hear his cries for help, so he tried to crawl back to the road. Oh, oh. I know you'd help me if you could, little friend. The poor traveler lay in the ditch for hours. Fortunate. It's the priest. He'll help me. But I'm so, so tired. The traveler needed help, but he was too weak to call out. this oh my goodness someone should help this poor man the priest passed the traveler on the opposite side of the road Where did he go? me. Please. Like the priest before him, the Levite passed on the other side of the road. What will I do? What will I do? Isn't there anyone who will help me? By late afternoon, the poor traveler had grown very weak. Hello, little friend. I'm afraid I, I won't make it through the night. Tell me, God, where are my neighbors now that I need them? 
At sunset, another traveler came down the road. Someone's coming. comes a Samaritan. Maybe he hasn't seen me. Who is it? This is medicine for your cuts and scrapes. Now, this should help. I don't understand. I'm going to take you to a safe place tonight. But why? You're a Samaritan. Ah, then you have met my people before. Travelers passing by couldn't believe their eyes. A Samaritan was helping an Israelite. Don't talk. Save your strength for our journey ahead. I hope this doesn't hurt too much. The Samaritan led his donkey to a small inn. Was there an accident? Is he all right? No, we must get him inside. Of course. That man, he's alive. Yes, I, s I saw him too. But who is that with him? Why, it's a Samaritan! But a Samaritan wouldn't help an Israelite. Would he? Just rest now. All night, the Samaritan cared for the injured man. He's looking much better. I must travel on business today. Take this money and pay for anything he needs until I get back. When I return, I'll pay you for any other expenses. I can't. 
can't thank you enough. I'll see you in a few days. I asked God where my neighbors were when I needed them. He has given me the answer. And the Samaritan did as he promised. A few days later, he took the traveler back to Jerusalem. Who is my neighbor? You are my neighbor. I can clearly see that a neighbor is a friend reaching out to me. Who is my neighbor? You are my neighbor, now we both agree That a neighbor is a friend, helping friends in need Look for a neighbor, he will be the one Always standing by your side when the day is done Instead of your eyes, the neighbor you find will be a big surprise. Look for a neighbor, he will be the one. And in hand we go, always standing by your side when the day is gone. Look for a neighbor, he will be the one. Always standing by your side. So tell me, which man was the neighbor to the traveler? The priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? Well, that's easy. The one who cared for him. As we should all do, showing kindness to everyone. So don't just love the people in your family or your friends. Love everybody, especially those in need. Live your life like the Good Samaritan. I will, Jesus. Let me help you, young neighbor. The story Jesus told that day spread throughout the world. And now, a person who helps someone in need is called a Good Samaritan. A long time ago, Jesus traveled the land teaching people how to be good to each other and to love God. Many people listened and learned from his stories, but some didn't understand and had questions. What are you doing, Jesus? You are sitting with sinners. 
How can you be a teacher sent by God if you speak to tax collectors? These men take our money and give it to the emperor. We've even heard you eat with these men. They have turned their backs on God. I'm sure God will have nothing to do with them. Why should you? All people are special to God. Let me tell you a story. Once there was a shepherd with a hundred sheep, but he lost one of them. Jesus told how the shepherd wanted all of his lambs safe. He looked and looked. Until one day, The shepherd had a big celebration because he had found what he had lost. But Jesus, the shepherd, was just doing his job. There's more joy in heaven over someone who was lost and then found, who changes his life for God, than over 99 people who don't need to change. Jesus then told about a woman who had 10 silver coins. but she lost one of them. When the woman discovered she had lost the one coin, she was very upset. She spent the whole night looking for her lost coin. She told her friends and they celebrated. because she had found what she had lost. That's the way God feels about people. In heaven, the angels sing whenever a person says he or she believes in God and wants to live a better life. But Jesus, in your stories, the shepherd and the poor woman lost valuable things. And all sinners, especially tax collectors, are worthless, bad people. There's another story. A story about forgiveness and love. There was once a man who was both a wealthy farmer and a loving father. <laughs> the father tried to teach them how to take care of things. Thank you, Reuben, but where is your... Huh? 
Ah, Benjamin. Even though his sons were very different, he loved them both the same. The father hoped they would grow up to be hard-working farmers. But as the younger son grew up, he dreamed of distant places. He didn't want to stay on his father's farm. The son decided to leave his home the very next day. Father! I had a wonderful dream last night. Really? What kind of... I was riding the finest horse in the city. Oh, the city's a nice place to visit, but... Everyone stared at me because I was handsome, smart, and wealthy. Yes, you are all of those. Father, farm life is fine for you. You're a farmer, but it's not for me. There are things I have to do. Places I have to see. <gasps> You're leaving home? Yes, you have always promised my brother and me an inheritance. Money for us. But it's for your future. Oh, please, Father. I want my money now. I must see the world, starting today. But the father did not want his son to leave. He would miss him a great deal. Thank you, Father. I'm rich! Hey, that's not fair. Benjamin can't take his money and leave like this. <sighs> if that's what he wants, he can do it. Don't worry about the farm, Father. Reuben will be here. But I care about you. I'll miss you, my son. I'll be all right. I'm going to see the world. Wave goodbye to your brother. The father could only hope that one day he'd see his son again. No more dirty hands, no more back aches, and no more work. Isn't it magnificent? It was the son's first time out in the world, and he wanted to buy everything he saw. Well, what do you think? Now all I need is to be seen riding a magnificent horse. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. You have bought the finest horse in my stable. Well, I deserve the best, you know. Uh, do you want that mule anymore? He reminds me of my father's farm. None 
of my horses are worth 40 coins, why, this mule is worth twice that much. <laughs> the fool doesn't care how he spends his money. I see something else to buy. I don't care what it costs. I must be seen riding through the streets today. Whoa! Horsey! Whoa! Father, I've listed all of our animals. Thanks, Reuben. That was a lot of work. Oh, I was just thinking about your brother. I'm sure you miss him as much as I do. The son was still spending money. He hadn't learned his lesson yet. I'm sorry, you'll have to leave. I have customers waiting. I beg your pardon, sir. How about a big fluffy pillow? The boy still only thought about himself. Ladies and gentlemen, for your dining pleasure, be Ira and his funny monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I must have that monkey! <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me, sir, but you have stayed here for a week. Will you pay your bill? Oh, is money all you want? Uh-oh. Out. Get out of my inn. <coughs> this will pay for your bills. Benjamin was now alone and very hungry. Well, what am I going to do? For the first time in his life, the son had to beg for food. Ah, uh, no free food? The boy was so hungry, he needed to find work, any work. But the only job he could find was the worst possible. Watch it! Don't make, well, pigs of yourselves. So hungry. <sighs> Thanks, little pig.
been acting so foolishly. A pigsty is fine, if you're a pig, but it's not for me. At my father's farm, everyone, even the helpers, have a place to sleep, enough to eat. Wait a minute, I'll go home. Well, father won't want me back as a son, not after the way I treated him. But anything's better than this mess. Hey, he, he might give me a job on his farm. I'm never gonna snap my fingers like that ever again. So the son decided to go home and he hoped that his father would not send him away. Thank God, he's come back. Sir, your son is coming home. Benjamin, my son is back. <laughs> My brother is back. This is a very bad idea. My father won't even want to talk to me. Uh-oh, too late. Is he going to be mad? Father, I'm sorry for leaving, and now I only ask to work in your fields. I shouldn't even be called your son anymore. Ah! <laughs> oh, welcome. Oh, welcome home. I'm so happy you're safe. What? Let's have a big party. Father? Uh, I don't understand. You send for food, lots of food, and get some musicians. <laughs> My son has returned home. But the older son was jealous of his brother. Whoa! Out of my way. Tell me, is the banner hanging straight? No, it's all wrong. Everything's wrong. The father welcomed his last son back home. <laughs> and the son realized how much his father loved him. Lost my way, left my house when I had it made. Just a slave to a broken heart till I found my father's open arms. Feels so good to be home again. No more roaming the world like the wind. I won't go back to where I've been. Feels so good to be home again. Feels so good to be home. My boy is back, yes it's true Set the table, prepare the food Watch me dance, lest this day So good to know he's home to stay My lost son is home again No more roaming the world like the wind I don't care where he's been My lost son is here again my lost son is home again I never thought my father would Welcome back a boy like me Now I can hardly believe The celebration feast My lost son is home again No more roaming the world like the wind I don't care where he's been My lost son is home again Feels so good to be home again No more roaming the world like the wind I won't go back to where I've been Feels so good to be home again 
to be home again. My lost son is home again. Where's Reuben? We can't celebrate without him. Benjamin's party. I won't go. It's not fair. Father, I stayed with you and helped you with the farm, but you never gave me a party. But as soon as my lazy brother wanders back home, he gets a feast. My son, anytime you want a party, you'll get it. Huh? I love you with all my heart, but today is something special. Your brother has returned. Like the tree we planted when you both were little. In the winter it's empty and you might think it's dead, but in the spring it comes back to life. I'm happy because I thought my son was dead, but he's alive, and now he's safe here with us. Come, celebrate with me. No! <laughs> Reuben! I've been a thoughtless brother. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Welcome home, brother. The Father is like God. He is full of joy and forgiveness when someone decides to follow Him. No matter what we have done, who we are, God will always love us. Bah! We are not convinced. God even forgives the Pharisees. Everyone else listened as Jesus told more stories that day, and they learned how God treasures every child, every man, and every woman.